The next question up says, uh, could you check out my training log and tell me what you think about my competition lift progression? Before I started guided programming, I wasn't able to progress in the last six months. So I'm taking that into consideration. I'm very pleased that my lifts have started to move in the right direction. But now my squat and bench starts to slow down. In squat, my SMA 1RM has been basically the same for the last five weeks. In the bench, my SMA 1RM raised quite fast to 140, then dropped back to 135 and is now climbing toward 140, but it seems that it's slowing down. Deadlifts I'm very happy with and doesn't show any signs of slowing down. It feels that after the initial shock, I've been tolerating training pretty good. Uh, there have been some weeks I've had to train four days in a row because of my work schedule. They were quite hard, but still doable. I did take a look at your training log, and your squat for sure has leveled off. Uh, your bench seems to still be progressing normally. Uh, I do see what you're talking about, about it. It looks like it's slowing down, but it's still progressing at a rate that's fast enough. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I think it's going to continue to progress, especially as the training cycle continues to evolve. And then like you mentioned, your deadlift is going very well also. So the question that we come to is what can we do to affect positive change to your squat while leaving the bench and the deadlift alone? That's where I would start. Let's start there and then uh, we can make bigger changes later, um, but we don't want to change too much too quickly. Um, so since the priority is, is changing something about your squat training, the place uh, the place that I would go to first for that is exercise selection. So if we haven't recently done a, a weakness analysis, uh, let's do that. Uh, I would like to see a you know a reasonably high RPE single uh, in the squat, and then we can kind of figure out what you need from there and customize your exercise selection. Uh, from there, uh, if that doesn't solve our problem, uh, we're probably looking at doing some volume and intensity changes, um, which I would say is about a 50-50 chance of changing your training group. And I would really rather not do that, especially while your bench and your deadlift are progressing so well. Uh, one of the limitations that we've got with guided programming is that we're placing you in a single training group. Um, with our custom uh, programming, we can you know, obviously use a, an extremely different strategy for the squat and uh, keep the bench and the deadlift on whatever is making them progress. Um, we're a little bit more limited with the guided programming. I don't think it'll be a problem for you, but I just wanted to let you know uh, so that that's, uh, uh, that's not a surprise to you if, if that becomes important. But I think that if we can detail our exercise selection uh, zone in on those things that your squat needs the most, uh, we can still get something out of it. Uh, get something out of this uh, progression. Um, get something out of this training strategy. Uh, so congratulations on your progress so far. It's really good to hear and it's really good to see graphically you know, how things have progressed. Um, I'm glad to see that you're making use of the uh, free training log that we have on the RTS site. Um, I think everybody should use that you know, just for the reason that you've noticed uh, that you can visually see your progress and you can very quickly and, and early detect when things are maybe off track and we can correct those things a lot faster. So um, good question. Let me know if you have another.